everyone and welcome to my latest video. I hope you're well. The video today is two videos in one. One was a short session that we had um, gathering some gaper clams on New Brighton Beach. The second part of the video is us fishing uh, off the double slipway behind Morrison's on New Brighton. I do hope you like the video. Um, do like and subscribe if you want to. And without further ado, here it is. Hi everyone, well you join me on a very very windy New Brighton beach. Now I'll just show you, absolutely littered with these gaper clams. Now we're going to get a load of these and we're going to freeze them up for bait. But I mean I've not personally eaten these but you can eat them. There's absolutely tons. I mean, it's not necessarily good for the ecosystem, but I suppose swings and roundabouts, and uh, we'll probably see how that one's doing its thing. Well, there's another video that I did yesterday that hopefully you've already watched. Um, we get six cod on, and every single bite was on this stuff. Gear for clam. Guys, so I'm just going to show you on the high, on the low tide marks. Don't see little things like that. And again, that's a razor clam. You do. Easy, just grab it. This point, it's going to want to dig in hard with its foot. So just keep going slowly. It will feel it release its foot like that. There we go, there you go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab it like that. Oh, this one's going to straight out. Just grab it straight away. Again, you'll want to pull down. size that one. So again you'll see they're just sticking out. Grab a lot of it. This one's coming quite easily I think. Again as you can see it's just in this divot here. As you can see just the it's going to come out quite easy. Again, very nice size. I'll let that one survive as only a small one. So I've cut the audio on this little part of video because the wind really was terrible. But I don't know if you can see in the video, but there's a huge bank that's formed as part of a gully that's been running out after the storms. You can see my foot there, I'm just sort of showing you some some sort of scale really. But it is quite a large gully, and if you're walking backwards, the tide coming up or maybe even sideways on the beach, it could catch you out. So just be very careful of that. And it's a newly formed gully. This beach was very flat in this section for quite a while, for quite a number of years. But just recently due to the storms, as you can see, it's created this huge sandbank. Never underestimate the power of the sea to completely change a beach from what you know it to be because this was completely flat last year. There was a few, a few ruts and a few gullies in this area, but nothing to this degree. It's something you just always need to be aware of if you come back to a beach that you're not fished for a while, in the dark especially. 
Hi everyone. So we're just going to go and get some wood. We're just here at New Brighton. I'll just turn you around. A bit dark. Uh, all the gear in the car. Show you just quickly the baits that we've got before we go and get some worms. So we've got a bit of mackerel and some gaper clams. We'll supplement that with some. Uh, we'll supplement uh, that with some uh, nice fresh worm if we can. There you go, guys. I got my dad holding the camera there. So this is what we do, we get to a nice sandy patch if it's not raining, we dry them out like that. It just helps keep them a little bit longer and then they're not really sat in all their juices. Because the juices of the other worm tend to kill the pals. So we'll just keep going through them. Got some melting worm today, I mean that's a small one. So my dad's doing a good, good job of the camera work. Just drying these worm off, but it's something we have to do. Anyway, leave me to this now and uh, it might see you for a brew and a cake. Catch you in a bit. Yes. So we decided to uh, do behind Morrison's on the double slip. I'll give you my reasons in a, <laughs> in a minute, but I'll just go and have a look to see if there's any uh, water to play with. And uh, then we'll know what we're working with time-wise. All right, so we'll catch you in a bit. We might just be able to see that the sea is quite a way out yet. So I'd say it's a a big brew and a big piece of cake away. You can just about see it there. Probably better with, the, with my torch off to be honest. Yeah, so you, there you go, you can just about see the tide line. You can probably hear the sea as well. Anyway, we'll get a brew and then we'll get some fish in them. Okay, so I'll just show you my new setup. Instead of having it in the back, I've gone for a a bit of a countertop in here now. And so the rail there you see is for a, a little table. The fridge is there. The tap here. We're going to mount that on the other side. Get it out of the way. And then ready for the spring summer we can start using it as a bit of a camper. Anyway, I'll get a brew on. to me.
create some controversy here. Am I squeezing the bag against the side or am I leaving the bag in? Fuck you. And you're in a squeezing mood, you're leaving the bag in mood. <laughs> squeezing mood. So I think my dad was feeling a bit guilty that I didn't film our <laughs> cake and a brew last time, so he's gonna make his own scones. Blueberry, blueberry, and what? Blue liquor, sultana, mm -hmm. and orange peel. Lovely. There you go, viewers. Don't get jealous. Guys, so we're fishing. We've not had any nibbles yet, but we've been in about five minutes. Show you the setup. Ty's just got to us, so we're fishing it as it's coming up now. I've got mackerel on one of my rods and worm on the other my dad's got mackerel on one of his and worm on the other we'll see if the mackerel do anything slightly past the best i'll be honest the mackerel um trying to get amused up but we've got gape clam as well we've got some razor clam we got as well before so see if we can't find any fish i'll get back to you if we get anything everyone so it's quite quiet on the roads I've only had one bite my dad had a bit of a, a knock before but not 100% sure we could have called it a bite but as ever we'll persist it's uh, half past 12 now and high tide is two o'clock. So still plenty of time. But, uh, if we get anything, I'll uh, get back to you. It's so unbelievably calm tonight. There's just a slight breeze, if anything. It's just really, really mild well this guy's Hoping to keep our bits uh, well eaten tonight. Aren't you, mate? <laughs> You're not letting go of that, are you? <laughs> Let's get some new bait on and get back. Right, so we've got ourselves a fish. Just a, a whiting. I'm getting measured. Now I'm getting back. Just try and show your teeth on him. Yeah, the pin sharp teeth on him there. <laughs> anyway, I'll get him measured now I'm getting back. So we've just got a bit more movement in the water now. And uh so we've we've beat the blank at the very least with a, a whiting. So the movement in the water should hopefully bring them on now. Nothing's ever guaranteed obviously. But we're seeing bites as well now, so it's looking positive.
26 centimeters the uh, whiting measured in at. We went back all right. Yeah. I'll go back to you if we get anything. Hey everyone. So the tide's just on the ebb now. And I'm getting absolutely hammered by a little whiting bites. I've even tried smaller hooks to see if I can actually just hook one, but no joy. I had a whiting earlier on. Well, that's the only fish of the evening. But hopefully if I leave this camera on long enough, you'll see the types of bites that I'm getting. I mean, they're decent enough bites, but... If, it, if any of them fishermen out there know... If any of you fishermen know, whiting bites can be a right pain. Whiting little teeth, they just, they just ravage your uh, baits to bits. But don't actually take the hook. Like that, you see that bite there? Getting bites like that all the time. But as you can see, it's like a, a bite, 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 then stop. Oh, there you go, see. I'll show you a bit closer. I mean, they stay around, they stick around, but... Again, it's nothing to bite. And that's another bite over there on that road. I do apologise, but my rod cam, I didn't put the, uh, I didn't put the SD card in the rod cam tonight, so there's going to be no um, time lapse footage, unfortunately. But I, we've not had, we've not had loads of fish to show you anyway, really, on the cam. So and hopefully we can, we can show you some more fish before we go. Everyone, so that's us done. Another session sorted. Well, only only thing is with this one, we just saved the blank. That's all we did on this one, really. Just saved the blank with one little whiting. But uh, we'll, we'll try again next time to get a few more and something a little bit bigger if we can. But uh, yeah, until next time, I'll see you later. Hi everyone, if you made it this far. Thanks for watching the video, I do hope you liked it. I'll just go through with you now on the maps the different places we went in both videos. The beginning of the video where I showed the gully that's newly formed, I'll try and roughly show you on the beach as well where that is. So both the videos were filmed here at New Brighton, the first one being here on the beach and I'll show you the gully in a second and the other one being here behind Morrison's on the double slipway. So the first part of the video was filmed in two locations on New Brighton Beach. Uh, the first location was actually over this end here. We walked all the way along there to find the gaper clam at that end of the beach. And then we came back over to this section here and that's where the gully that you saw on the video is. So I'll just give you a bit more information about this gully that's newly formed on the beach. It roughly is in this section here. Not precise but obviously just a bit in this section here and the gully runs out like that you will probably see it clearly during the day but obviously be careful at night because that could that could potentially be something that you get stuck behind so i've just moved the map over to here to the double slip that's the double slip and this here is where we actually gathered the gaper clam on the first part of the video i'll just zoom in on that a little bit for you now so as you can see, the double slip, that's what it's named after. Now we were fishing in this section again. Again, you can fish both sections and you can even fish off the top. I have had a really nice bass. I'll try and put the uh, photo in there for you at the end of this. Um, and it, we actually fished there when we got the bass. So just to finish off this little section, I'll just show you zoomed in here, the car park that we parked on. It's just next to the boating lake here and there's a metal container there so you're aware of where it is. That 
car parking spot there was exactly where we parked that evening and it's just a short hop over the wall there and a short walk there to the uh, slipway just there you might be able to see that's where we uh, put all our stuff and we just fish off of there well that's about it for this video and thanks for watching i really do hope you like the video i do hope you like the other videos as well and uh, if you haven't already done so go check them out um, like always i go through the maps on each one as well and um, and show you where we've fished on every session um, my dad appreciates every single comment that he, he's getting as well and that he's getting about his trolley and about the cakes and the brews. Um, I do hope you like the cake and brew section. We did it a little bit different this time for you. Um, I'm not sure it'll be that length at each time. Uh, do like and subscribe if you want to and uh, hit the bell notification icon if you want to be notified of our next videos. So until next time, see you later.